There's been a lot of heated debate recently on whether we should base our training decisions on mechanistic research or outcome data. In my opinion, pitting these two sources of information against each other is missing the forest for the trees, and here's why. Mechanisms and outcomes work synergistically, not competitively. If you choose to rely only on mechanistic data, but ignore outcomes, it creates circular reasoning. The mechanisms must be validated with outcome data in the first place. They can exist independently. Moreover, isolated mechanisms often fail to predict the outcomes we care about once the complete feedback loops and multiple competing pathways throughout human physiologies are factored in. Similarly, only relying on principles we can derive directly from outcome data can leave you in a position where it's difficult to say why the results are occurring and generalize beyond what's been investigated directly. Every study uses specific populations, interventions, and typically for short time frames, somewhat limiting the direct real world application. The solution is to leverage the strengths of both types of data. Studies that directly measure the outcome you're interested in will offer the most holistic view on what's happening following a given intervention, while mechanistic studies can further contribute to the mental model of why the outcomes play out the way they do, which may help you to tentatively bridge the gap from research to practice where the data lack. This approach lets you scale your confidence with the specificity of the data you have, always leaving more to update your beliefs further in the future. So don't be afraid to take the best of both mechanistic and outcome data and be sure to follow along for more training insights without the hype.